Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout between Nathan Levy versus Austin Hubbard. And I'll see this one right here. Um, straight to the point, it, I feel like Nathan Levy is being progressed way too fast. And really looking at his fights, his last fight, was a Center Series fight or whatever his last fight may be, might have, he looked he look decent, he looked good. His fights outside of that, he looked good, but really bad, really, given the competition that he was fighting, finding guys that were like 5-3 and three and... 1-0 and 0-1, oh and oh and like really, you know, those, you're building yourself up, those, you know, you're padding your record, you're adding to your resume, or fighting, you know, to your level, and you're advancing, and I seen him get dropped in one of those fights, eventually I was 5-3, and three and was on, drop. matter of fact, like three times by that dude, seeing him give up takedowns to several of these guys, and he's not a guy you should be getting taken down by, I'm like, he got good jiu-jitsu, but a takedown offense and defense needs work, his head movement needs work, and he's just a fighter I feel like needs a lot of polishing. And like, well, he's, I feel like this is a guy that should have got a developmental contract instead of being thrust into the UFC. And going against Hubbard, Hubbard, I feel like Hubbard can out-wrestle him, can grapple with him. But probably, I'm a smart thing to do with just use his grappling in reverse and stand with him. And this outbox him and take advantage of him and probably stop him. I feel like he, they're going to mix it up. But I feel like Hubbard will be able to get the, advantage, the best of him in every area of this fight. But just not grapple with him too much. I'm not saying Hubbard's a bad grappler, but you know, in a fight, choose the path of least resistance, I would think that would be on the feet. I just feel like um, Levy's a little bit stiff on the feet. Does a lot of strikes without taking his head off the center line. And Hubbard should be able to tag him to the body, tag him up top, and you know, a bit of finding good success landing on him. It shouldn't be too hard for him to land and land flush on him. Be able to rip him to the body, come up top. Really, then we need to go up to the body because he's not moving his head. You usually go to the body to get the head stand stationary or open up the head, but the head gonna be there. So I like Hubbard with it all box me to land on him clean, land him a flush, pressure and break him down and um stop him, I'ma say in the first round. I, I don't feel like it's gonna need to be a three round fight or a two round fight. I feel like he can put him away in the first round, and I think he does that. So in this one, I have Austin Hubbard via first round TKO.